Hi guys, good to have you all back. Today I want to finish this little beauty. Now, this is a project that I've been working on over the past couple of videos. Last Friday I made uh, the base. Uh, it's a flippy floppy folio thingy. <laughs> made from a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and has eight pockets on it so last monday i decided to decorate it but i couldn't finish because there's so much on here so today i want to finish the inside now in case you haven't seen this video which i highly doubt but just in case um and also it's going to have its own playlist so i'm going to link the little playlist below it's a flip floppy folio you fold it out has lots of pockets when you open it up here, it's like botanicals, which is really, really cute. And then when you open it up, I made identity cards. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the botanicals, but it will, it will. Now, this is the flippy floppy part. You flip this up, you flip that down. Yeah, I have eight pockets. Now, here's the plan for today. I want to decorate the pockets a little bit because they're already really cute. And then I'm going to fill them with specimen slides. So if you're not into flappy floppy folios, that's okay. Today's project is actually specimen slides. So that's what I'm going to make with you guys. I have lots of supplies on my desk. Now I am going to make them from scratch. From scratch. So hopefully you have some of these supplies and you can make some yourself. So here's what I'm using. Um, for the base, I am using a file folder. Now pretend that you have not seen this one. Uh, because I just bought it. I went thrifting, guys. I have a fantastic haul video this Sunday. I found file folders. Yeah. You don't need file folders, love. No, just cardstock. Uh, in any color. I would prefer it to be a little bit grungy. I'm going to grunge this up. Um, I'm going to use this part. And put this on the inside. Because I don't need it. So, cardstock. Like craft colored cardstock or... Any color you have, a little bit heavier. And then acetate. Now, I have acetate sheets. These are overhead projector sheets. Yeah, you can still buy them on Amazon or what have you. But if you don't have this, you could also use, and this is what I found in uh, in the bin, <laughs> uh, packaging, guys, packaging material. Yeah. Sort of the harder plastic, uh, plastic one. So something plasticky, acetate what have you. So these are going to be the bases for um, the specimen slides that I'm making. Now, for the tools for the specimen slides, I am going to use circle punches. Yeah? That, unless you're going to do square specimen slides, you can cut them square. I'm going to use circle punches. I think I'm going to use a one inch and a three quarter inch. But if you want to have bigger ones, use a one and a half inch and a one inch if you want to. Or even bigger. Or even bigger. And a, um, a corner rounder, because I want to round corners on this one. Of course, I'm going to use uh, glue and scissors and such. For glue, I'm using barely art glue, because I know this uh, glues acetate and vellum and such really well. So, uh, barely art glue, or you could use art glitter glue, of course. Um, scissors, ruler, knife, paper cutter, you know, the usual. Now, for decorating, for decorating, I want to use a little bit of hardware, probably some brads or eyelets to make it pretty. Probably going to be inking it. I have two colors, a uh, vintage photo and ground espresso. I will be stamping on it. I'm going to do lots of stamping, guys. For uh, stamping, I'm using the color Fallen Leaves from First of Mine Claire, my favorite one. Now, for the rest of the decorating, I am going to use rub-ons. Rub-ons. Different ones. I've had this in my stash since forever. They're not, I must admit, they're not really good. I think they came from AliExpress or something like it. Um, there's also some available on Taperlogy, I think, yeah. But these are sort of small uh, flower and leaf thingies. And these are going to go in the specimen slides, yeah. So that's what I'm going to use. I have more rub ons, vintage ones, these old ones, with some letters and some numbers that I also might use. Uh, stamping, lots of stamping. Now I'm going to do Tim Holtz, guys. You know I'm going to do my Tim Holtz. That's this, what this project is all about. I'm even going to use the new one, the Winter Woodlands, because guess what? There's these lovely sort of small images of pine cones and trees. And I might use a small one. Let's see if that works um because i'm making um 
what's them call it, specimen cards. I'm going to use field notes because that's the perfect stamp set for this. I cannot do without my eccentric. I've taken out this one. I don't know if I'm going to use it yet because I love this stamp and a bit of this. And this is etc. etc. Also, guys, um, I received a fantastic happy mail from Tony from Crafts by Tony. And this was in it. This is from Heidi Swap. Uh, I'm, I have no clue where you can get it. But look at all the lines thingies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is actually for planners and such. It's my Heidi Swap. Clear stamp set. I don't know what the name of the stamp set is. You probably cannot even get it anymore. But I like it. So I'm going to use this. Uh, for the rest of the decorating, I have the uh, Ephemera Snippets Pack from Mr. Tim Holt. The tiny, small ones. I really enjoy these. I love them. And I also have some tape from Plus Minus. I was actually looking, guys, for my handmade vintage tape with the alcohol inks. I've been looking for an hour. I cannot find it anymore. It'll pop up. Yeah, right after I don't need it anymore. But I might use uh, some of these uh, pet tapes that look uh, a little bit crunchy. Just to decorate it a little bit. But I don't know yet, guys. I might. I might. Is that it? Oh, I have some twine. Maybe some twine to put um, on the top of the of the specimen slides. Yeah. And whatever, you know, I set my mind to. Because probably I'm going to make something. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, that'll look cute. But I don't know yet. Okay, is that it? That's it, guys. You don't need all of this. You need um, a piece of cardstock, a piece of plastic, preferably acetate. I am going to use rub-ons, so something rub-ons, or just put on a very tiny fuzzy cut, guys, and some uh, stamps. Yeah? Okay, let's start. I have eight pockets. Yes, four of them are sort of side pockets, and four of them are sort of top-loading pockets. Now, in these pockets, the cards can be a little bit bigger, in my opinion, so I'm going to make two sizes. One size is going to have sort of like the frame or the slide, or the circle, it's going to be one inch, and on the other one, that are going to go into the tall pockets, are going to be uh, three quarter of an inch, yeah? Now, let's make some bases, so four of these, and four of these. I have already um, cut a piece of, my, of the file folder, I'm going to use uh, this bit, yeah? Okay, what do I want? The cards in here, because this measures... Uh, well, four, almost four by two and three quarters. Now the card's going to be much smaller. I think I want this card to be one and um, and a half inch, one and a half inch. Shall we? One and a half inch? Yeah, one and a half inch wide by um, three and a quarter, by three and a quarter. Yeah, okay. Going to take my cutter. One and a half inch wide. Just gonna cut off a strippy. By uh, three and a quarter. Now I could cut two of them, or I could just cut one that is six and a half inches wide and then fold it in. I think I'm gonna do that one. Uh, I need to do some measuring because this does not go to six and a half inch. My big one does, the big cutter. But I just, I just measured it. Yeah. So it's going to look like this, guys. I'm going to fold it in. Like so, in half. Yeah. I'm, co I'm going to glue them together, but first I need to uh, cut a hole in the center. Well, I'm going to try to cut a hole in the center. Now, normally I eyeball everything, but I really want to sort of measure it. I'm going to put the hole. Are you going to put it on the top or on the bottom? Well, here. Here. This was the smaller one, so I'm taking out my three quarter inch circle. Can I reach it? You can. I'm trying to place the dot that I made in the center. Ooh, this is double up. But it works, it works fine. Yes, so this is going to be a small sort of slide. It's going to be cute, right? Yeah. 
Um, also, I'm taking out my corner rounder on the largest setting. Hopefully this will work because it's a lot of pieces of paper. I'm going to round the corners, but just on the top, not on the bottom. So it looks like this. Yeah? Okay. But we need a piece of acetate in between. Now, guys, I'm going to use... Um, what's going to call it? Rub-ons. Rub-ons on a piece of acetate. Now, maybe you have some small dried flowers. That'll be fantastic, right? In that case, you need two layers of acetate to put the flower in between. I'm just going to use one and going to rub uh, something on it. So I need a piece of acetate. Now, this is um, one and a half inch. I have some scraps left. I'm going to make this one inch wide. One inch, will that be enough? That'll be enough. So I'm just going to take out a piece of acetate one inch wide. There you go. Will that fit in between? It will. Yes. Yeah. Great. So, uh, repeat. I'm going to make four of these. And then we're going to do the bigger size. Made all the smaller ones. I think they're really cute. Yeah. Also cut all the small pieces of acetate. Uh, the other ones, the bigger ones, I'm doing two inches. Uh, but the same height. So, six and a half in total. And, you know, same principle. I'm just going to fold them in. Hopefully they'll meet up. This should be the other side around. Yes. <laughs> I wanted this to go on the inside, of course. Yes. And let's sort of try to find the middle. Well, there's a line here, so that should work. Sort of over here. I think so. Can we reach it? This one? Well, from the side we can. Yeah. I think that's it. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. So, same. Uh, keep these guys. If you're using file folder or a lovely car cardstock, keep them because we can make something cute with it. Maybe not for this project, but for future ones, for sure. Like whole sort of hole reinforcers or um, circle closures. And again, I am rounding corners. Just on one side, not on both sides. See? Bigger one. Small one? Bigger one. Yeah. Uh, rinse and repeat. So I'm going to do it with these three as well. All of them are done. Yes, this one is a little bit off center, but don't and don't worry guys if that happens. It's just paper. It's not going to explode. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, for big ones, for small ones, they're like flappies. Yeah. Uh, let's start with the smaller ones. Now, um I want to do some background stamping before I do the acetate in because if I put the acetate in and then glue it down, I'll probably be gluing on the acetate. So background stamping first, which means sort of grunching it up and such. Yeah. For this, I'm taking out, um, not get a Twix. No. Vintage photo. Vintage photo. What we're going to do in the background. <coughs> I'm going classic. Which means I'm going to take out my splatter stamp. And I am going to concentrate a little bit. Uh, around the um, the circle because I won't be able to put any other sort of st I'm going to stamp a lot on this guys I'm not going to be able to put a lot of other stamps on here now I've chosen for the background um, stamping a lighter color than I would for the distressing or the stamping of the beautiful Tim Holtz stamp so see just a little bit like this just a tiny bit. Oh, do the other side as well. Now, guys, I'm going to use rub-ons, which are lovely. But that does mean that it'll only be lovely on one side. Because on the other side, let me show you. Rub-ons, you rub it on. Yes, but the other side will be white or blank or whatever you want to call it. Hello. Please let go. See? It will be this. So, okay, it's this. You know... Just accept it. 
Unless you have real dried flowers, then it would be fantastic, of course. I'm just going to do a little bit of this and this. Yeah, on all of them. So mostly around here because you won't be able to stamp there later. Let's do the big ones as well. This could have two right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There are many, many splatter stamp sets, um, stamps out there. I find them from every brand in every sort of a stamp set that I find attractive. <laughs> they all have some sort of a background splatter stamp thingy. Um, I am just one to stick with. If you love something and it works, I'm just going to stick with it. So I have this one. Uh, the the real one is from Mr. Timolt. This is a fake one. I've had this for years. Yes, I should replace it, but why not? Because I have this and it works. So this is the the real one is from Tiny Toadstools. Tiny Toadstools. So okay, some background stamping. The other stamping I'm going to do um, after the acetate is in and it is all glued down. Yeah. So background done. Do you want more background? Maybe later, maybe later. Okay, I'm going to focus, guys, on the acetate. For the for the bigger ones, I've also, of course, made just bigger ones. Yeah, that'll fit in here. Uh, I made these one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And I made these, the smaller one, an, in an inch by, I don't even know how tall. Yeah, small ones. Okay, let's find some lovely rub-ons to rub on. I had three of these, right? Yeah. Once upon a time, back in the day, I had three. But now we have two. Well, we'll make do with two then. Okay, let's find some lovely ones. Now, I'm going to use this as a template to see, will it fit on there? See, this one will fit and that one won't fit. But this, oh, that's a lovely one. This one will fit. I think I'm going to go leaves on these. Well, uh, maybe some flowers, because there are some sort of flowers that you could use. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go mostly leaves. Oh, yeah, I love this one. Yeah? Oh, that one as well. Uh, I'm just going to cut them out. This one works. This one was big enough. Now, it doesn't really matter, guys, if the sort of rub-on is a little bit too big. You know, because it can sort of disappear um, underneath the cardstock. That's okay. It doesn't mean, need to be centered at all. I'm going to take this one. Oh, will this fit in a small one? Yes. Love that one. So I'm, I think I'm going to cut some out. Maybe you have some rub-ons with um, butterflies. If you don't have any rub-ons, guys, uh, try small fuzzy cuts. Small fuzzy cuts. They will work as well, for sure. I know this is going to be fantastic. So I need eight. I need um, four smaller ones and four bigger ones. Big one, small one, small one. I think this needs to be in a bigger one. Maybe this one. That's too big. How about a fern? Hmm. This one? Hmm. Ooh. That one's cool. Can I reach it? See, I'm fuzzy cutting. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. Yeah, more smaller ones. Oh, that's cute. Yes, that one is cute. So apparently this is all going to be about small leaves. Yeah, big, big, big. I need one smaller one and one bigger one. I had 
some over here that I really like, didn't I? Did I already cut it out? Mm -mm. No, not the florals. Yeah, this one. That's cute. One more big. I'm gonna go this one because because it's it's uh, closer for me to reach when I'm cutting. And then the last small one. Where's my small template? Um, I have this one, this one, and this one. Oops! Stay, stay on there. This brown one. Yep. Perfect. Now, I also need to sort of take into consideration where to put it. If I am going to put this one here. Yes. A little bit sort of crooked like so. Try to eyeball where it will land. Oh, that'll be fine. I'm going to use my preferred method of rubbing on, which is a pencil. Honestly, guys, for me, that just works best. I'm just going to put it on here. Now, I'm not going to do all of them on camera because that'll be boring. However, I also think I want to add a little number as a rub-on, because I have those. Yes, I have these. Oh yeah, cute, 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 cute. Let's put it in. Oh, it's all sorts of cute. Can you, can you see, guys? Can you see? Oh, it's cute. Let's have something underneath. Yeah. So let's do a small, a small number. Near the, the stem. Hello, numbers. Now, these I'm not going to cut out. I'm just going to put something on. I'm going to do an 8. Apparently, an 8. Here. Oh, there's all these sort of markings underneath. So shall we do an 8 and then two dots? Eight dot dot five. <laughs> did the dots work? They didn't. I'm try that again. There you go. Dot dot. Are you on there? No. Well, these are very old, so they might not work. I really want. I really want them to. I think it's going to look cute. Come on, dot dot. Oh, these worked. Yeah. Eight dot dot five. It's just so cute. Okay, let's see. It's going to be here. This is going to go here. And it's going to be fantastic. See? Okay. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to rub all the other ones on. And then we're going to glue them in. But maybe first I want to ink within the circle. I think I want to ink here. Yeah? In the in on the inside. Yeah. Let me do all the rub-ons. All the rub-ons are rubbed on. Let me show you a little bit close because I really like them. See, I put some numbers on there. 11 plus 4 something. And put a number on its size. Uh, on its side. NO661. 8, 5, 7, 79% and 304-9. Just, you know, get creative with it. Guys, I'm telling you, if you can find these at, you know, garage sales or thrift shops or uh, Goodwill or what have you, you can also still get these probably on Amazon or I don't know, but they they can be a little bit expensive. Um, I find these thrifting and such, and I, I love them. I normally pay nearly nothing for them. It's just to make your own. 
numbers because you know apparently i love numbers okay so these are done let's put them away for now i just want to do some inking on the inside uh, you could get a q-tip or something that looks like it or just even a little ground espresso just your dauber i just want them to be a little bit darker the circles themselves See, like so, you, know, you have small daubers for this, which I do, but they're downstairs. And guess what? I'm not going downstairs again today. <laughs> but I'm just going to ink the, the circles on the inside a little bit, because I think that'll look way nicer. It will frame um, it a little bit more. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be cute. So I'm mm, going to do that with all of them. Yes, I'm just going to sort of distress the circles on the inside it's something that you have at hand all of them yeah and then i think it's time to to glue them in i think i'm ready to glue them in um now i'm not going to put glue on the acetate lovies no i'm going to put glue uh, around the circles uh, also not very close to the circle so I'm going to leave a tiny bit of room and then a small strip of glue or dots or hello come out part so not too close to the edge try to sort of position it where you want it I'm going to have it here press gently press gently Yes, and then also I'm going to put glue here a little bit further because I want this to be glued down really well. And then also, of course, all the other sides because it needs to be stuck down. So a little bit around the circle and then the rest all over the small tag or specimen slide however you want to call it guys now if it if it glues down a little bit crooked that's okay guys because we're gonna rough it up and distress it and all sorts this was also the one that was a little bit off centered but that's that's okay i'm gonna do another one I'm gonna do a big one there you go so around the circle not too close near the edge Otherwise, when you press it down, the glue will do this. <laughs> and you will see it. You will see it. So be very careful. Now, this image was a little bit too big for the slide. But that's quite all right, lovies. It doesn't need to fit in here exactly. Ooh, it needs to be a little bit lower because otherwise it won't. Can we still move it about a bit? Yeah. Without the glue seeping out? No. It's fine. Okay. And then, well, the glue here. Yep. And all around. Oh, it's cool. I like it. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to do that with all of them. They're all in. Already love them. Yes, you could be done. Well, no. It needs a lot more. Um, first. First, I'm stamping, guys. I'm going to use uh, this one that was gifted by to me by the lovely Tony. Designed by Heidi Swap. It is T15946. If that makes any sense, I don't know. I've never seen these in the Netherlands. It could be from also sort of a subscription from a Heidi Swap. I don't know. But uh, nonetheless, I love it. I love it, Tony. I was so happy with this. Yes, I have stamps with lines on them. And they were completely new. Now, there's one with a row of numbers on here that just, you know, screams my name. Let's have some stamp blocks. 
Now there's also one with a row of numbers on the new Christmas one, guys. Where is the one? With the trees? Yes, the woodlands. Um, winter woodlands. Yes, there's also one with a line of numbers. So you don't need to have this one. Or maybe I have another one. Probably there's something in Eccentric that also works. So I'm just going to do it one at a time, of course. Just some lovely decorating with numbers. And such. New stamps. Don't know how they will stamp. Hopefully they will stamp nice. Probably will. I only have a sort of a tiny attacher from, he from Heidi Swap. Other than that, I have nothing from, from that brand. Let's see. Hopefully this is straight. There we go. Yes. Row of numbers always, always works. While I have this on. I'm also going to do it sort of over here on the bottom. Doesn't need to go straight up all the time. No. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Something else. Maybe a couple of them on the top here. I'm taking out. I'm taking out one of the circles, guys, that we used. Putting it on the stamp. Yeah, and doing it like so. Just in case. Oh, yes, I love that. Fantastic. Let's take out another stamp. Are you going to do another one from this set? Very likely. Very likely. Now, you don't need to use a whole stamp on this, guys. Just part of it will also do. Oops. There you go. You're going to do this? Yes. Then again, I'm going to stamp some stuff in here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Do it this way. It makes it look so interesting. You can do this, guys, if it, with a fine liner and, and a ruler. Make some sort of lines for sure. But I just enjoy stamping. Now I'm hoping, sweet Tony, that you have one for yourself. Yeah. Otherwise, you might be sad. You might be like, no, why did I give that one away? Well, because you love me. <laughs> Because you love me for sure. I'm hoping you have one for yourself. This needs more ink. Let's see. Am I straight? Hoping, hoping I am. That just looks amazing. I'm sorry, guys. I am just really, really excited about these steps. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I cannot link them. No, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, which way am I going to go? That way. Uh, because I have no clue where to get them. But by all means, try HeidiSwap.com. Yeah. Absolutely love them. How many do I still need to have something in the background? I have something this, 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 this. I need a bit more. Ooh, let's do this one. This is probably for bullet journaling and planning, guys. Um, most likely, most likely. I need to do it upside down because I don't want a tag shape on here. There's no need for a tag shape on this one. Yes. No, I'm going to do a little bit here on the bottom. Why not? Interesting, right? I want something here. 
Lots of stamping. Also, you can stamp the whole reinforcer thingies on. Am I going to? You already have this one. This one. That's on top of here. Oh, yes. I'm going to do the whole reinforcer thingies for sure. Because there's going to be um, probably an eyelet there. Let's see. Will this fit? We'll make it fit. Absolutely love them. Make your own tickets with this. For sure. Also going to have this. Here. Yeah. Will these work? Are these too big? Just going to try them out. If I put them on here. I think these are a little bit too big. But I'm going to try them anyway. I've never seen a stamp that sort of mimics a whole reinforcer thingy. Let's try another one. Because there are different ones on here. Also, sort of a circle one. Oh yeah, that works. Oh, that's cute. And then this one. The spaces are a little bit too small for these um, whole reinforcer thingies that I have on the tops, which is a shame because they are cute. Oh, that works. That works. Great. Okay, now for my next stem set. For my next trick. Um, let's see if I can do something with this. But I might need a stamping tool. Uh, because that's way too big to put on a block. I'm going to try it with my stamp tool. Now, this is going to be tricky because these are not clear stamps. I have no clue what I'm doing. So, first... I am just going to be, make sure that this is all sort of stuck down. Yes. Then let's choose an image that I want. Um, let's do this one. I'm going to try to position it where I want it. I want it on top there. Yes. Keep it there. Then... I'm going to do this. Yeah. What was it? Oh my gosh. What was it? Oh, this one. <laughs> this one. Okay. Uh, you can do this with all sorts of tricks. We used uh, use tape or postage or, or what have you. I'm just going to use a piece of... Uh, yes. <laughs> a piece of something. A piece of paper to put here. I could... Yeah, you should use tape. I'm going to use my tape. Yeah. Because I need to sort of tape it from all sides. There you go. This should work. So this is low-tech tape, guys. It's not that sticky. If you still think, think it's too sticky, just stick it off on a piece of fabric. Yes. And then um, the tackiness will sort of disappear. So here's how I'm using this. I just taped everything off that I don't want to be inked. And I hopefully... I can ink the rest. Yeah, I think everything is on. Now don't forget to take the tape off, loves. <laughs> yes! Otherwise it still didn't work. Uh, okay, well, you go there. You go here. Here goes nothing. Hopefully it'll work. A lot of work to put a stamp on, right? Yeah, I know. I know, but I just wanted to show you that you don't need to, to use the whole background stamp. You could just use one piece. Yes! 
Love it. Love it. Um, yeah, I will not be trying this out on all of them because it's a lot of work. But guys, yes, use it as is. Just, you know, tape it off and then I'm going to do it one more time. Do you want to see me do it one more time? Yes. Um, on, on this one. Which one do you want? Also, does it fit? Here's the problem. I cannot see in the middle where I put it. So I need to have one that is from the bottom or the top. Or Let's see. I want five needles. Will that... I cannot see. I cannot see, guys. So I'm going to do this one here. Is it going to be on the acetate? Maybe for the smallest bit? I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, you're going to be there. Then I'm going to take out the tape. I'm going to tape this piece off here on the bottom. And then this. On this side, are we leaving this? Yes, because that's the cutest part. Okay. Here goes nothing. I think we'll manage not to put it on the acetate. Oh, we did, and it's fantastic. It's so cute, right? Yeah, it's really cute. Now, let's take out the field notes. This is the perfect stamp set for this. Also uh, eccentric, guys, uh, because it has lots of small elements that you could put everywhere. I think I want to do something with the field label stamp. And not just to put it, well, you could, you know, put it on there and be done. But there are a lot of small elements on here that I think would work really, really nice on something. Like just this piece. See? So, well, I have my tape out so why not use it yep i'm going to tape this piece off also the very top part put it on a block first yes yes Take the tape off. There we go. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yes, over here. Do I have some room here? No, I probably do. Name of a remitter. Try to put it there. Brilliant. Brilliant. I have some spaces left, but that's okay because I also want to put on some of these. But first, stamping. First the stamping. This says field label. Will it fit on the... I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Yes. That is too short. Too short. I'm hoping I can sort of figure out if I can get field label here and the rest on the bottom. I'm going to try, guys. Might not work at all. I'm going to take off the top part as well. Here. Yeah. Field label well let's make this into a field label don't drop it don't drop it do we need to stand up um i think this is it <laughs> i do not know for sure let's see no just ah oh. that was a little bit slow but still i really really like it yeah what else do we have? We have this one that could do with lots of field label, right? Yeah, we're going to do a lot of field label on here. 
I'm gonna reuse this. Yes, I'm also gonna take the top part. I'll have inky fingers for sure. Yeah, so cute. We're gonna put a number there for sure. Yeah. Do we have a number on field labels? Hello, field labels. Where are you? Yeah. Look. Tada! Number. Just make your own, guys. Um, do we have some numbers that would fit on there? How about the figure one and two? That will fit. Perfect. Do we have numbers that will fit on here? I think these are a little bit too tall. I'm going to try them anyway. Going to try. <gasps> dropped it. Well, then we do this. Ta-da. <laughs> Did you see I dropped it? Don't drop it. Can we do something atop there? Or corresponding order. Oh, this will, I think, land straight on these lines. Let's see. Yep. Corresponding order. Number something something. Really cool. And this, this, this. I have so many more to go. What do we want here? Or maybe a small number there. That doesn't fit. Uh, let's see. Taking out the centric because that has way more numbers. Um, I'm done. Something small ish. Five dash two four one zero. Tada. Tada. It's really cute. Now, guys, I want to do some more decorating, but also want to do some more stamping. And um, I also want to finish it on time. So I'm going to do more stamping. I'm going to show you what I did. We could easily stop here because they're already really lovely, but I'm not going to. No, um, I want to add two things. One of which is the sort of snippets from Mr. Tim Holtz. And maybe some of this... This is plus minus tape, guys. I have these big rolls, uh, which I cut up in smaller pieces. And I think some of these pieces would look sort of lovely on them. Hoping. Just let's just see. Or all these lovely ones. So um, we have some spots left. Also, you don't need to put on the whole uh, label. Oh, this says type slide, which is absolutely perfect. Type slide. Um, <laughs> Let's side or just here or there. I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I will. However, yes, I have inky fingers. I know. I know. Well, that's okay. So I'm going to put small of these uh, of these small snippets on there here and there. Not on its head. Type. Slide. There you go. And then we can put another one here. Just part of it. You could also flip it over. Now, guys, by all means, decorate the back. You should decorate the back. I am not going to. Not lazy or, uh, or anything. <laughs> but I don't have the time. I just don't have... To. I really want to finish these. So I am not going to decorate the back. But you should... Or maybe turn it into um, sort of a, a spot that you can journal on. 
lots of glue here. Yeah, and we need something here. Shall we do something with the tape? We could try, we could try. I don't know what this will look like, but hopefully it'll look nice. Go away, glue. These are not rub on, so I really need to trim them here and there. There you go. But then they should look nice. A little bit over here. I need a needle because I am rubbish with taking off these backings. Oh, there's a lot of ink on my mat. Yep. Go away. Oh yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. Yes, we're gonna distress it more. Guys, we're gonna distress it more. But first, let's just put on some more labels. I love these labels. I need to buy more of them. Maybe I already had. Bought more. Mm, a little bit bigger one. Ooh. Yes, I'm going to have it on here. And it's going to overlap the circle. I don't mind this at all. No, I actually think that adds a little bit. Oops! Careful, Luffy. What you doing? Do you need your tweezers? I'm not even putting glue on the wrongs on the right side. The glue should be here. So yes, I'm going to overlap it a little bit. And then I'm going to cut this off. And it also needs a something here. Or maybe here. And there. Yes, now there's a big blank spot here. Do we need something? Ooh, maybe sort of these markings. Oh yeah, that's going to be great. Now, I love these pet tapes. I think they're very, very fantastic to look at, but for me, a little bit difficult to work with. So I'm trying to figure out in what sort of ways I can use them. And this is actually a brilliant way. Look at that. Yes. Love it. Oh, I absolutely love this. Yeah. Okay, this one's done. This one's done. Let's do another one. This one doesn't need a lot. Oh, I have a sort of an oval one. Shall we overlap the oval one? Here? We shall. Yes? Something with the tape. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do just the corner, just the corner there. Why not? Why not just cut it off? Love doesn't need to be sort of precise. No. Or maybe like so. No, I'm gonna do it like so and then I'm gonna trim it. Am I doing it right? 
Oh, guys, me and stickers and backings. I'm horrible with this. And I see other people do it like, plops, and they're off. Well, not if I do it. Put this on the top. Absolutely perfect. Stunning. Does it need something here? Something? Bigger number? Or whatever this may be. Just add a strippy. Add strippy here. Fantastic. Um, num, num. That's too big. That's, I want something with writing on. Oh yeah, that looks cute. Something from Kenya. Okay. Do you want to do this? Yeah, I want to do this. Yep. Oh, I'm all quiet. Yes. <laughs> I just not realized she's all quiet. Yeah. top or maybe a little bit closer to here okay cool needs an eyelet needs an eyelet what do we have here very small strippy of something mm, maybe that's too small Ooh. no i want something with words written there we go. Yeah. Okay, where are my stickers? What do I have? I have this. Does this go anywhere? No. Oh, there's a sort of a number thing. Oh, let's do this. I don't know what it says. Let's see if I can try to read it. It says Trelleborg. Actually, guys, I think this is Dutch. Yep. I think this is sort of a street in Utrecht. Trelleborg 1 Utrecht. Ja, yeah, it is. Tada. Yes. Well, guys, I have three more to go. Uh, but I also really want to do all the distressing and put in the eyelets and such. So I'm going to do these off camera. But I'm going to show you when they are finished, of course. All of them decorated. Guess what, guys? We're going over an hour. And also, I don't care because I'm having a lot of fun. Let me show you how I'm going to sort of distress um, the cards. I will use my sanding disc. I will use this tool and do, just do some ripping and such. Because this is made from the file folder. If you distress it like so, the white won't show through. Because there's actually no white in here. In the paper. So... That's why I'm doing this. Don't know if the sanding tool will... Oh, yeah, that will also help. That will also help. So I'm just going to do some of the corners. Some distressing and roughing up. 
Now there are some pieces of tape on here uh, that you probably cannot sort of distress or sand or whatever you. I'm gonna try to peel off a bit of this. Yeah. Okay, distress it. Um, I'm going in with, of course, a uh, ground espresso. I want this dark. And crunchy. There you go. Putting a bit on everywhere. Oh yeah, especially here on the corners. And here we have tried to sort of destroy it. <laughs> Oh, it's just really cool. I actually really like it. Um, there's sort of a whole, a whole reinforcer stamp on here. However, I am going to put um, an eyelet in. Try and put it in the middle of this. Yes. Small one. we manage there you go yep really nice with the stamp behind it right and then i'm going to take off tiniest piece of this this like the hemp cord or whatever sort of string you have just needs a little bit of like a topper Push both through, there you go. And both of them through the loop, through the loop. There, done. Done, really? Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to rough up all the other ones, guys. Put eyelets in and pieces of this hemp cord. My mat is really dirty. But my project is really cute. I decorated everything, guys. I just want to show you the end result. Now, this is the cover. What did I do? I put on a couple of these labels, these sort of snippets from the ephemera pack. And then these also came from the Tim Holtz ephemera packs. Yes, it's a butterfly. Uh, and that apparently flies all around <laughs> the journal. Yeah, so even on the back. Small little uh, ephemera piece here. And then one of the flowers. Just some lovely decorating. Now you can already tell these are sort of the toppers uh, from the specimen labels that are sticking out. Love that. My opinion just makes it look cuter. Now let's open it up um, this way, please. There you go. Ta-da, ta-da. Yeah, we open it up. Now this is the decorating that we did last time with all the yellow and a butterfly and a lovely. And then we also have the beautiful... Um, identity cards. Really like them. Now, let's fold them up. Yes, here's one. As you can tell, I decorated the pockets as well with the lovely stuff from the um, from the packs. Yeah, and let's look at the cards. Now, I did not do any uh, decorating um, underneath here because why? It's already lovely. See, let's look at them up close. I <laughs> absolutely adore them. They're so nice and grungy. With all the stuff on. Isn't it great? Yeah. You should decorate the back. For sure. I didn't because I didn't have any time left. But you should. Or make them into small journal uh, spots. I love the parts of the um, of the stamps. And also the stamp set from Heidi Swap. Thank you so much, Tony. I absolutely love it. So here's one. There's another one. Yes, a smaller one. But equally as cute. Yeah, I put some of the stickers on... Lots of sort of distressing. I love the idea that has, um, hoping you can tell, number 661 in here. I just, you know, adore it. Yeah. And then for this one, yes. Also, too, I decorated this with a label and a piece of the florals. And over here with another butterfly. And then this is what the small one looks like. Yes, it's a 79%. Yeah. <laughs> The real one is probably bigger <laughs> with stickers and lots of distressing. I almost took off this corner. I really like it. 
Yep, there it goes. And then this one. Yeah, just roughed it up. You could do more stamping, but also it's already cute. 11 plus, 11 plus. Yeah. Yep. And then for this one, flip it up. Another yellow flower here. Let's, you know, I was thinking, let's do a little bit of yellow on here. Sort of as a reoccurring theme. Then we have this one with more of the tape type slide. Half a label here. I put the other half, I put on the, um, on the front cover, on the top. Yeah, this didn't stamp out right, but that's a happy accident because I like it this way. I just took off a whole bit here. I just ate it. No, I didn't. <laughs> And then this one, we have half a butterfly here. The other half is over there. Yeah. So use, if you cut something in half, use the other half. Yeah, I took a whole chunk out here. I really like this. Yep. With a label that I round this corner on. Cute. And the last one, Joe Butcher. Yep. Um, I cut off this piece and I just glued it here. Yeah. Butterfly here. And then this specimen card just really really cute yeah oh, i love the numbers and the and the stuffs and oh cute cute and then the last one with lots of these um pet tape sticker thingies just cut pieces off guys if you don't know what to do with them cut pieces off yeah fantastic fantastic yeah, so so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series. I really liked it. It turned out completely different to what I had in mind. What did you have in mind? I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to make a flippy folio, but I had no clue it would be such a big project uh, with identity cards and specimen cards and uh, lots of cute stuff. Lots of cute stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's it, guys, for today. I'll be back again this Friday with another project. I'm thinking I want to do something with David's uh, release Lost in the Woods. Yeah, with lots of die cut sets and um, uh, stamps, stencils, beautiful paper. I have seen his videos where he did the project. I am going to stray from the instructions and do something myself with it. So it's going to be an adventure. I'm hoping to see you there. Until then, bye guys.